Hi everyone, so in this video we will be studying about epiploic foramen. Epiploic foramen is also known as foramen of Winslow and it forms the connection between the greater sac and the lesser sac. We need to remember the boundaries of the epiploic foramen. So interior boundary is formed by free margin of lesser momentum and containing the hepatic artery, bile duct and the portal vein that is hepatoduodenal ligament is there and the portal triad consisting of hepatic artery, bile duct and portal vein. Then the posterior boundary is formed by the inferior vena cava. Along with the inferior vena cava we have the right suprarenal gland. Right suprarenal gland is no, not shown in this figure but the right suprarenal gland is the posterior boundary. Then on the superior side we have the caudate process of the caudate lobe of the liver caudate process of the caudate lobe of the liver and inferiorly we have the first part of the duodenum and transverse part transverse part of the hepatic artery will be coming like this so first part of the duodenum and transverse part of hepatic artery and then we are left with this left lateral boundary left lateral boundary is not shown in this figure but we need to remember on the left side we have spleen and the stomach so splenorenal and gastrosplenic or gastrosplenic and splenorenal ligament form the left lateral boundary and the another thing which is related to the epiploic foramen is pringle maneuver pringle maneuver is total clamping of the hepatic pedicel by placing a atraumatic clamp across the foramen of Winslow. Means in the case of hepatic injury, if we place the clamp over the foramen of Winslow, then the bleeding will stop from the portal vein or hepatic artery. If the bleeding is happening from the portal vein or hepatic artery, it will stop. But it can't stop the bleeding from IVC and hepatic veins. This is another image showing the epiploic foramen or foramen of Winslow. See the Portal triad forms the anterior boundary, superior boundary is by caudate lobe of liver and then we have the inferior boundary formed by the duodenum and along with it the transverse part of the hepatic artery will be coming. So that is about the epiploic foramen. Thank you. Welcome.